Hey everybody, welcome back to Cammy's Garage. I've been feeling like I've been in a bit of a slump recently. I haven't had much motivation in the last couple of weeks. Longtime watchers of my channel will know that I am very inspired by the work of Malcolm Tibbetts. So yesterday I checked out his website again just to try to get some inspiration. He does a lot of segmented wood turning and many of his art pieces are very complex. So I am feeling inspired to try some miter saw experiments today. Well, it might not be miter saw. This will kind of be like prototyping, experimenting. Kimi's Garage is all about experimenting. What I'm gonna do is make some triangles. Unfortunately, I don't feel safe cutting these on the miter saw because it'll want to tend to roll if I cut down on the blade. So that has to be about a 60 degree cut. And they have to be the same length. I don't think my miter saw even goes up to 60 degrees. Well, look at that, it does actually. All right, so what I've done here is taken this square piece of scrap and I cut this at almost 60 degrees. I know it's not going to be going to be accurate. I'm just messing around here, but this will act as a visual guide so I can get it mostly close to the angle I want. So when I cut this one, I have to make sure this is perpendicular. Well, as you can see, not very precise, but this is what I'm going for. Well, I'm close. If these pieces were longer, slightly longer, I think this would work. Well, I messed something up. I think I'm going to try a smaller one again. So, what I've realized is I need to make these shorter, actually, not longer, in order to do what I want to do here. So I was trying to figure out how Malcolm Tibbetts did his 4% solution sculpture. And my frustration with this thing made me go back and study it a bit more. And he even wrote a little bit about it and he said the ratio between this length and this, the diameter of this wood here has to be right, otherwise it's all floppy. And clearly it's all floppy. Like I said, these have to be shorter in order to get this to be not floppy. They should be interlocking. All right, so I cut some more of these dowels, shorter this time. I cut them shorter this time. See me it should go through there like that, but <laughs> like I said, too small. Oh well. The magic ratio is between here and here. So I think that's about right. So this dowel is 7 8 and the interior length here is just about 4 inches. I can't help but feel I wasted several days <laughs> working on these things. I don't really have anything to show for it really. Uh, well, you know, I think these in themselves are kind of neat shapes, but they're certainly not finished pieces or anything. But you can consider it as valuable research. I don't know that I'd pursue this in the near future. Who knows, I might try something on a larger scale someday. As I already said, it's important to get the ratio between the diameter of these pieces and the length. Based on what I've done here, I think the optimum is somewhere between one to four or one to five. So one unit this way and four to five units this way, whatever that unit might be. Anyway, so that's it for now. I've got a few other interesting projects on the go right now, so you can expect those videos soon from Cammy's Garage.